What's up guys, it's Jay back again with Tech Everything. A lot of people have been sending me messages or commenting on the videos asking me what exactly a Pico PSU is. I use them in a lot of my builds and I've realized I've never taken the time to actually explain what they are or how to use them, where to get them. So today, we're gonna do just that. This is the most powerful Pico PSU available, the 160 XT. As the name implies, it is capable of delivering 160 watts of continuous power with peaks up to 200 watts. The entire unit sits on top of a 24 pin ATX connector. It operates at 12 volts and delivers 16 amps of power. The 160 is modular, which allows it to use only the cables that you need. The only attached cable is the 4 pin power connector. A 4 pin motherboard power connector, as well as a peripheral cable with Molex and SATA connectors, is included. You can pick up a second peripheral cable for around $3. Setting up the PSU is easy. Your motherboard cable goes into the slot under the power cable, and your peripheral cable slides into either the front or rear peripheral ports. Connecting the Pico to your motherboard is no different than any standard power supply. Plug the unit into your 24 pin ATX port, and connect the motherboard power cable. You may need a 4 to 8 pin adapter depending on your motherboard. Pico PSUs rely on external power bricks for power. This is a 200 watt power brick. They are available in a wide range of sizes and wattages. Depending on which model you get, you either get a 4 pin mini fit adapter or a standard circular power plug. Connecting your power brick to the PSU is simple. Just attach the proper connector, then plug in your power brick. You will be able to use two peripherals out of the box. You will most likely have to use adapters if you have a lot of peripherals. Here are some quick examples of the kind of system you can build with the Pico PSU. So as you can see, there are a lot of advantages to using the Pico PSU. There are also lower powered models down to 80 watts, I believe. So if you really just want to run a CPU or maybe an i3 or you're just doing like a streaming box or something like that for your living room, HGPC, you don't need a full, like I have an i7 in my build running off of Pico PSU, you probably are not going to need that and that's truth be told not exactly what these are designed for, they're really for lower powered systems. You have to keep in mind always, 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 if you're planning on using one of these, you're going to have to keep your wattage under 200 watts. It has a 160 watt continuous rating and it is rated to take up to 200 watts. Now you can go over them. These things are very robust. People have tested them out and they can handle up to, I believe, 265 watts if you change out the cables to a higher gauge, do some other mods, but straight out of the box, you're gonna really wanna stick to under 200 watts. And one of the best parts of the Pico PSU is that they are obviously completely silent and they also don't generate much heat. I don't know what kind of witchcraft they use to make these, but they really are cool to the touch. Even on full load, I've touched it and I haven't felt any kind of heat. They get warm, but it's amazing how cool they actually are. So they're a really cool, powerful little PSU. Easy to use, easy to connect, and offer flexibility in your system that you cannot get from other power options. I drop links in the description if you want to check out the Pico PSUs. You could also check out my build logs if you want to see what they look like in action, and what kind of systems you can create. I probably pushed it as far as you possibly could with an i7 and GPU, so you can definitely check that out. Also, there is another PSU called the HD Plex, which is the second probably most popular for small form factor builders, but it offers 250 to 400 watts of power and you can obviously power more robust systems with it. It is a little bigger and it's not a ATX connector piece like this, but I'll cover that in another video when they are back in stock. As always, thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay, this is Tech Everything, and I'll see you next time.